All right, this video is titled, I'm Disgusted. I don't know why, but it has something to do with One Piece. Not too sure, but this video comes from the Discord. So let's go ahead and check this out. Nicholas Dark TV, let's go. This right here, this is why I say, and I'll always stand behind, Twitter is one of the worst places on earth. True. Yes. No, that's facts. One of the worst. He's spitting already. This is truly sickening absolutely sickening i don't get it what happened i see this with a lot of actors nowadays are that are casted in a role they get attacked as if it's their fault for being casted in a position people don't know how to separate reality from fiction oh well, that's they sad. blame the actors okay as if it's their fault for so i have no idea what this is about but i'm guessing and i'm assuming based off the the stuff that's in front of my face uh, the actress that's in this picture is going to be cast as Robin, and Robin is a pirate slash terrorist or whatever. And then people are upset because now it's the mental gymnastic parts. Why people are upset, it's, bro? I couldn't tell you. Like if you're taking a character from a TV show and you're trying to uh, applicate, applica, uh, applicate, uh, applicate. Applicate is the word. If you're trying to applicate this to real life, something's wrong with you. It took me a second, but I got it. Let's go. For being casted in the role. This role, I have no idea why people are complaining about. If you ask me, I think she fits the role perfectly as Robin. You ask my girl, she thinks she looks absolutely beautiful and sexy. So I don't know what people are uh, complaining no. about. <laughs> Apparently, this person wants to call her a terrorist because of her nationality oh no, that's fucked, bro we continue to go backwards more and more as the days go on and if you really want to see the failure and the downgrade and the disgusting part of humanity just go on twitter yeah just true go on twitter. Uh, but i don't that I don't is the be perfect on there like place that. that's easily accessible for everyone to witness absolute disgust and evil this is where evil resides. Yeah, it resides in the real world, but it also res resides in virtual reality and this fake reality that people think is reality, and that's Twitter. Calling this actor a terrorist that's for crazy. a role that she was casted. And let me that's just tell absolutely you something. Insane. Every single straw hat in One Piece is, I'd say, a terrorist. Of course. <laughs> like, Bro. But why are we... They're going against the world government. Of course they're terrorists. They're pirates. That's, like, literally, that's the whole point of being a pirate is going against the law and going against the government. Of course they're terrorists. They're pirates. Duh. What, what, what is this? Why are we moving that to oh, reality now? Why oh, are we man. pushing that onto a real person? Because they're dumb. They haven't even acted yet in the role. They're we dumb. have seen them yet. And if you ask me... This would make me delete my account. I want Damn. to do with it. <laughs> this gives the fandom the, 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 the bad name. It gives No, the, the crazy part is I doubt this is even the One Piece fandom. Because anybody in the One Piece fandom would never say no crazy shit like this. <laughs> like One Piece has been around for has it been around for a decade yet? Hey, has it? Let somebody let me know. Regardless of the fact, bro, if you're a real One Piece fan, there's no way you'd be upset about somebody being cast as a character for a live action. There's no way you could uh, really say, hey, this person that's an actor, they're like a real life issue. Uh, it just doesn't make sense. This, these are legitimately just Twitter goblins. You know, that's what I'm gonna start calling them. They're goblins, bro. They literally just stay on Twitter and that is their life and that is their reality and their mentality is whatever they think is the real world. It's just in Twitter. Like they're goblins legitimately. Like we should not be listening to these people. Twitter goblins are literally in every community in every fandom. Due to the fact that they're only on Twitter and their life is just revolved around saying nonsense and pretending that it actually means anything. Do not confuse the, the Twitter goblins with actual One Piece fans, just like you shouldn't confuse V tweeters and those version of Twitter goblins with people that are in the VTuber community. It's not the same thing. They're just people that are stuck on Twitter all day them a bad name and this is what pushes people away from joining the fandom from being a fan for participating in fan activities surrounded around something that people claim they're a fan of and that's not a fucking fan this account isn't a fucking fan of course not they have a stupid anime profile picture and they think they're a fan you are not a fan you're not you're really not they're just a random twitter person look look this at the isn't retweet. what oda wants this isn't what the people that create what you're a fan of want from their fans 
21 injured, including three children in, in car today. I can't pronounce that. But Netflix is letting an actress whose country is currently committing a genocide play character that's literally a survivor. Oh, so because the actor is from a place where their government is doing some messed up stuff, then that means that everybody that's part of that country, they're, they're all messed up, right? That is the logic we're going with. Well, I, I I need to let you know that every single country on this planet has done something messed up if they've ever been in a war. If they've ever been in any type of conflict, they are involved with something bad that you do not know about. And guess what? You might be living in a country where you don't realize that they have done bad things. And guess what? By this logic, you're also a terrible person. Make it make sense. You can't. It doesn't. Keep this shit online and don't try and uh, applicate it. To real life. You can't do it. You really can't. What the fuck is wrong with these people? <laughs> these people are evil, bro. These people are... I, I don't think they're evil, bro. I think they're just sick in the head. I think they're just misinformed. They're led astray. And they're confused about what reality is and their identity with inside of it. I don't think they're evil. I think they're just dumb. And there's a big difference between evil and dumb. That being said, there are dumb, evil people. Maybe you got a point. Maybe. Evil. What does this have to do with One Piece? I just want to watch One Piece. <laughs> action. What does it have to do with One Piece? constantly attach their beliefs and world views. And, and not saying this On is political. Art. But I'm saying they want to attach politics and everything to, to what's supposed to be an escape from reality. Why are we and that's the crazy thing is, man. Honestly, I don't think people should be looking at media and stuff like this as an escape from reality. Everything that is made is some type of interpretation of the real world, right? So when we're talking about One Piece, the world government, uh, what the One Piece is and friendship and whatever the value of One Piece is, because I haven't really watched it, right? I've, I've seen it and I know stuff about it. But all of these things are applicable to the real world when it talks about like creating a crew. Right. Sorry, I hit my mic. When you're creating a crew, you can essentially look at creating a crew like creating a business. Right. You find people that help you and and creating a, a friendship or a team to conquer some type of goal, whatever the goal is for one piece. It's find the one piece, whatever that treasure is. That's what they're looking for. Right. Your one piece in real life when you create a business could be make a million dollars or make a hundred million dollars or whatever. Right. These are the things that should be applicable. And not just, hey, oh, there's there's genocide in the show. There's genocide in real life. So that means the people that are actors are trying to say, hey, the genocide in the show is the same as real life. Like, that's that's the thing. Like, people need to start separating the boundaries, right? But I don't think, it, you know, it should be, you know, of course, people do look at it as escapism, right? People want to escape the real world. But good luck escaping the real world when politics are actually being thrown into said media which you know you're not really escaping you're just seeing another version of what's happening IRL but yeah a hundred percent I get what he's trying to say and I, I respect the opinion that this man holds dearly to his heart he's trying to enjoy one piece and people are ruining it by trying to conflict the two things the reality of hey there's some real messed up stuff going on by a country that you know, people don't like anymore or they never liked or whatever versus a character that or a person that's trying to play a character and they just so happen to come from that country. Like these two things. Yes, there is some type of linearity because of where she comes from, the actor, where they come from. But that shouldn't have anything to do with the role that they're giving in a job. Doing this, man, this is sickening. This is sickening that we have to deal with something like this, man. It's crazy. God, and that the actors have to deal with this. Oh, yeah. No, I can't believe it. I can't believe when I saw this. People are so parasocial. They're they're so crazy. unhinged. They're crazy. Lunatics, psychopaths. I don't know about that Pure one. Pure fucking they are crazy. retards, bro. Well, I don't know about that one you. either, but hey. Like, <laughs> could, could we just watch something? Can we just enjoy our media without everything being so political? And not just political, but related to reality like the thing is like bro this isn't even like the first time some crazy stuff like this has happened if you guys have seen breaking bad a lot of people 
got mad at Walter White's uh, Walter White's wife. I don't remember her name, but because she played the role so well, people were like, "Oh, you're a terrible person. Why don't you believe Walter?" And it's like, bro, it's a TV show. It's not real. Yet there were people going after the actress because of the role that she played. It's an insane world that we live in. And I think the people that are having these issues should not be online. I don't think they deserve to have any online digital footprint, bro. They need to pick up an actual book. Like the books I got back here, I got like eight different books, bro. They need to pick those up and put down the, the cell phone. Because if you cannot separate what's on here with what's right outside your door or what's around your neighborhood, you got big issues. And it's bigger than just watching cartoons all day. There's a goddamn pirate in this show that's a clown that his whole Buggy. body detaches from itself. Buggy. We have walking, talking giraffes. True. We, we, battling samurais. True. Like, no what flamingo, are we doing, bro. As a society, you know what I mean? Like, it's disgusting. Fuck Twitter, bro. Fuck this person. Wow. Fuck everybody that retweeted it. Damn. And liked it. Damn. Fuck all of them. Damn. Are evil. Evil. And we don't want anything to do with you in this fandom. I may, may be new to this fandom. Word. But I'm a bigger fan than every single one of them. <laughs> These aren't fans. They're terrorists themselves. Oh, That's shit. Nothing to do with race. Nothing to do with that. No, That's no, I wasn't even thinking about race. This is like, bro, you calling them freedom fighters? Terrorists. <laughs> They're terrorizing my enjoyment of the series. Damn. So terrorists, bro. Understandable. Man, this video is not getting monetized. No, it's not, but bro. Yeah, man, you dropped the F-bomb so many times. Away. And they don't understand that doing more damage than good. That's true. Constantly being negative. Constantly spreading hatred and envy and jealousy. It's disgusting. Disgusting fucking people, boy. <laughs> Spit on yourselves. Damn! Pieces of shit. Whoa, whoa, bucko. Relax. <laughs> having to deal with this shit. The actors on set having such a blast together. Yeah. Having such a great positive time. Filming something they're very passionate about. And having a great time. And trying to provide us content so we can escape from our reality. Whatever hell or heaven we might be living in. Just to escape from all of that bullshit going on in the world. To, to separate reality from fiction. And just enjoy ourselves. But we can't because there's people that constantly want to involve themselves. They're so selfish. They want to constantly involve the world and the wars and the politics and shit. They constantly want to be insufferable. And I'm so goddamn sick of this shit. Understandable. Leave, leave this shit out of it. Understandable. Man. Seriously, not saying it's yeah. shit. There's real shit going on in the world right now. Facts. But like this has nothing to do with it. Mm. But they constantly want to be obsessed with race mm. and sexuality and making things mean stuff that they're they don't mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're taking the meaning behind whatever the one piece and the, the fandom and the characters and they're trying to twist the narrative into something that they are trying to to prop up as like oh some type of social justice or whatever yeah it is absolutely ridiculous it's definitely something that should be called out i think this is a good video to let people sh like show like this man is showing his true honest emotions he is saying he is so tired of this like he, li he literally spat on his keyboard or the floor or whatever like, you know, he, I, I get the frustration. I honestly do. Even though I'm like laughing about it and I, and it, for me, it just rolls off the shoulder because I know for a fact that there's going to be idiots online point blank period. And it's good to call them out. And it's fun to laugh at them and be like, Hey, look at this dummy. Right. At the same time, if you really want to have some type of change, you just need to take away their electronics because you're not going to convince anybody to think a certain way unless they want to think it. If unless the person that made this tweet thinks, oh, man, you know, maybe I did mess up. They're not going to change their mind. No matter how many angry videos are made, no matter how many angry tweets they get, they're going to think they're in a right. And if anything, they might even double down because they're think they're they're feeling like they're being attacked. Right. It's uh, it's an inter interesting, uh, you know, predicament to be in. And if anything, you know, yeah, make your videos explaining why you think that this should not be in like the the online sphere, the online presence, you know, make your your opinion known, just like they made their opinion known, make yours known. I think that's the only way to really combat it. If there was a way to combat this type of stuff, just yeah, say your opinion. Everybody should. If you don't agree with what this person said in their tweet, let it be known. Let it be known you don't agree with that. Because there's going to be people that agree with what this person said in this tweet. There are going to be people that agree with anything. Everybody has their own sides of the same type of opinions. So if I said uh, iPhone is bad, there's going to be a whole bunch of people that are like, yeah, iPhone is bad. 
if I say iPhone is good, they're going to say, yeah, there's a lot of people that think iPhone is good, right? But they're bad and good for different reasons, right? It's good because it's a piece of technology that has legitimately helped people and changed people's lives in a positive way. That being said, it's the opposite for the exact same reason, because probably some kid in some impoverished country helped make this shit, right? There's good and bad with absolutely everything in this world. And it's up to each individual to point out what they like and what they don't like and what they think is good and what they think is not good. So like, even though I don't agree with this person that tweeted this one piece terrorist trying to like, you know, compare the actor to like some real life event type shit, I don't agree with that at all. That being said, there's going to be people that think these things and it's up to each and every one of us or one of you to call it out. So, yeah, this is definitely a great video, man. Let, let me hear you continue to rant, dog. Let's hear it. This has nothing to do with this. Be ashamed of yourselves, bro. Go outside. Like, <laughs> people. They'll never amount to anything in life. Damn. They'll never be happy. They're a a always angry and always just making controversy out of nothing. It's sick. Sickening, bro. Be ashamed of yourselves. All right. Yeah. I just wanted to talk about this. Defending the actor. Good. Defending the, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. any actor that has to deal with this bullshit. A lot of right? actors. Bro, Seriously. a lot of actors, and not just in TV and movies, but in video games as well, also have to deal with this type of stuff because of the characters that they voice, act, or write for, portray, whatever. Yeah, they, they get this stuff all the time. It, it's sad. It's sickening. But it is something that does happen. I think we should call it out. Seriously. That didn't even do anything. True. You go on her Instagram. True. That doesn't change anything. She's involved on social media. Good. She has to deal with this bullshit from these parasocial psychopaths online, bro disgusting and that's the end of the video honestly uh it's cool you know this video comes from the discord shout out to Sinon. he's always dropping some type of video that involves like emotion and uh like i guess controversy but you know at the end of the day these things are important to talk about when did this come out this came out yesterday so yeah this is definitely something to be talked about um you should let it be known like hey if you don't like what people are saying online about you know your piece of media that you're trying to enjoy you should definitely defend it because it's your piece of media it's your enjoyment it's your escapism as uh nicholas said in the video so yeah 100 percent, man all right that's the video you know let me know what your guys thoughts are your opinions and all that leave it in the comments below i'm down to check it out man i like how uh, in my community there's a lot of people you know there's some people that like the he ha ha and then there's other people that like this type of content I'm a fan of both personally. So to have people in the comment section give their opinions about what we just saw and my breakdown of it, I think it's absolutely cool. And that's what I like the internet for, man. It's your boy, Kunshan. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. If you want to see more stuff like this, you can get involved by joining the Discord down below and dropping in the video request section. And I'll check it out. I'll see you guys on the next one, man. Peace.